Now, I'm fairly sure you can probably open this with Abbott's card here. However, with that guy standing there, um, it's quite possible that he might freak out at me and kill me. Let's find out. No? Okay. And a random pack of smokes. Red Frog. Might cause revolution. Alright. Nice little pack of smokes. Hopefully this guy won't freak out at me coming out of here. No. I guess he really doesn't care. So there is another bot in here. So if we were to get behind that by accident or by running through there as that first guy was going through there, this guy would probably kill us for doing it. Now this next area over here, as soon as you get into it, um, there's a whole bunch of guys. So I always found this kind of a nuisance to go into. Where's the lights? I'm working on just have to replace one more of these. So basically, you get multiple chances to take these guys out. I heard something. Hmm. Nothing here. It is entirely possible that I am going to get seen by these guys, because it's not particularly easy to uh, sneak up on this crowd. Keep looking. Where's the light? I'm working on it. Oh, this is I into a trick. fucking zoo. And he's sneaking around everywhere. <laughs> Come on, lights, go out. Oh. Hey, prisoner! Uh oh. Show it. <laughs> and this guy has a shiv, so let's beat him up. I think Abbott just sucked at using this because this thing is a pretty badass weapon. Got him! And here's a vent tool for free. So we did not have to um, grab the vent tool from that other guy whatsoever. And now this place is nice and dark forevermore. Got some nice stairs going on over here. You are something to tell us we're healthy. Loose panel with a list of rats. So that is what the guy was asking about um, for us to find. However, we do not have um, the name of whoever took the list of rats. I think we can give it to him um, before then, which I may very well go ahead and do. But uh, as we don't have any of the names of the person who might have done it, I don't think he's going to give us anything for it. So a couple of vents here. Go through this one, which is a dead end, but it does have some money in it, which is nice. Let's see how much money we got. 175. We got tons. There's a ladder in that one, and I'm not going to bother with it currently. Get back out of here. Oh, I cannot get back out of here. I guess. Alright, well, I guess we're going forward. I have not the ability to go back and uh, talk to him. And this one code incorrect. Please does not allow us to, uh, to use Abbott's card for whatever reason. So there's a number of crates to jump up on, but if I recall correctly, there is nothing whatsoever in this room. I will, however, check anyhow. That was strange. I wasn't trying to grab onto that, but, you know, whatever. This one I'll try to grab onto, though. <laughs> Not happening. Pretty sure I can do it from the other side, though. Kind of a ceiling over there, so... Makes it a little bit difficult to grab onto this uh, up here. But there's not much of anything up here to find, so... 
onward. Oops. Yeah, not much going on. Alright, well, let's get into this vent. So much for going back. Apparently the list only has me. Anyway, we will be right back in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and get into this elevator area here, which will immediately start going down. If you step into the elevator, you're going to load the before the uh, and through Jagger Valens straight to the spaceport. Before that conversation is over, which is kind of uh, a bit of a pain there. Okay, buddy. Nothing's going on. Let's go ahead and use this and uh, give him a nice new day. Or a nice final day, you know, whichever one works. Alright. Check out what's going on around here, shall we? Not much of anything over here. I'm gonna say that that is probably death. <laughs> I highly doubt that I'm going to find anything down there. Even though it looks like it would be a fantastic place to hide something. I'm sure after you've hidden something down there, you will never ever find it again. Let's see what we got going on up here. I don't think there's anything honestly, and I'm not going to have the code for that. Though I can certainly try it. Yeah, there's nothing up here either. Big load of nothing. Code incorrect. Please enter correct code. Alright, that's cool. Thing over here? No? Alright, what do we got going around the corner? Anything? Yeah, we got a guard down there. And there is no particularly good approach for me to go down that way. So, let's head back this way. And see what else we can find. I'm sure we can find something. Too bad I can't grab that gun, otherwise I would... Uh, have a very easy way of taking that guard out from this direction. Code incorrect. No code Please for that either. Code. However, we do have a nice little ladder here to get up top and see if there's anything else. Maybe we'll find that guy's glasses down here. Uh, maybe not. Aha! A vent. Glad I didn't pay for that vent tool. Would have been a waste of 15 universal dollars. Uh, yeah, that looks dangerous. Okay. Um,. Yeah, I don't think I'm going over this way. Not with that crap falling down. That looks a little too precarious to try and jump to. So I don't even think I'm going to try that. Let's get out of here. If there's one thing that makes my uh, stomach crawl, it is heights. Heights are a pain. <laughs> You know, I've kind of noticed that the ambience in here sounds a lot like ambience from uh, Penumbra. I wonder if they took some of the inspiration in Penumbra uh, from this game. Hey, buddy. 
boink. He didn't even freaking care. He was just like, what? Don't worry, bud. It's all good. What we got going down here? Nothing that I can see. And there's nothing back this way. Well, you're more or less hidden, and I think there's a lip on this great, yeah, vent. So I'm not going to be able to get him up into that very well. So uh, we're going to say he's hidden. Got another vent here. I'm pretty sure we can uh, jump up and get that. Well, there's definitely a guard down here, so let's hope for the best. Riddick is really badass sometimes. Is that guy coming after I kick that out? No? Okay. As a character, I, I really love playing Riddick. He is a very, very awesome guy to play. New pack smokes. Style. Bowtie not included. Is that like batteries not included? Just uh, bow tie instead. Sorry, buddy. Well, nothing here. Keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> nothing here except the thing that fell down on my head. Okay, that that is a little bit of a stupid AI. <laughs> the AI can't be perfect, but um, that was definitely a stupid thing for. Uh, an AI to do get a grate on their head and they're like, ah, this is nothing here. It's cool. Oh well. Overall, I still like the, uh, the stealth elements of this game. They're very good. Even if they're not perfect. Hey guys, I'm home. Ooh, money. I think that's money. Very bright around here. Anyone in here? Yeah, there's someone over here. Let's sneak up on him and see if we can't give him a nudge. Need to turn off this fan. Don't worry, Riddick. I think we just did. I totally fell all the way down there and got all chopped up, but the other guy down there doesn't seem to uh, notice or mind whatsoever. So I'm pretty sure this service panel is meant for um, turning off the, uh, the fan over here. However, if you manage to knock the guy off the side, he will turn off the fan just by falling through it. I guess it's like a safety feature or something of the fan. That it uh, turns off. Ooh, that's bright. That is very bright. Just trying to look for any extra goodies here. I don't think there are any. So I can't really get on top of these boxes, and that's just back in there. Alright. I'm going to turn off the service panel anyway. I think it might turn off some lights too. Yeah. But um, that service panel will also turn off this fan here if, uh, for whatever reason, the guy doesn't fall down. Which has happened to me before. Let's see if I can manage to do this. Alright. There he is. Oh, I missed. Inmate, on the run! Don't worry about it, man. I may be running, but uh, you do not need to know that I'm around at all. That is a lot of blood, though. <laughs> Damn. Hey. That's not cool, door. Don't crush me. This isn't, like, doom or something. I don't need to be crushed in the doors. So, this area I have always found to be extremely hard because there's a... Kind of an iffy shadow mechanic over here. I'll show you right now. Oh. Okay, never mind. Who was it? Was it Riddick? The new one everyone's talking about? Guess so. No showers for us tonight. No showers? 
Captain said they're plugging the hole, so they're sealing off the showers in our block. Shit, I had no shower yesterday either. God damn it, can we go over to some other block and see if they'll let us in? That makes sense. Let's meet the square half an hour after the shift ends. So half the time if you're just rushing into this shadow here, you won't get shaded by the shadow before the mech over there ends up seeing you. Which is kind of a pain. They say he it down here somehow. Probably looking for Jagger Valley. But they haven't called yet. Clever guy. Hope he doesn't plan to mess with our little flock of alien pets. Why not? If he runs into those monsters, he can kiss his sorry ass goodnight. Wouldn't be a problem no more. Now, Riddick wouldn't be a problem, but remember that big one that got loose by the spaceport last year? Shit, you're right. So, yeah, most of the time when you're getting into that shadow, that mech will see you and um, you'll get screwed over. So what I end up having to do is creep very slowly instead of moving fast through the shadows, and that will uh, often get you into the shadow um, so you don't get seen by the mech. But it is certainly a problem. This is also one of the places where hitting E comes in handy versus trying to jump up to these things because they will instantly be on you if you don't hit E here. Here. They will start to uh, get suspicious at some point, for whatever reason, but hitting E there is uh, quite helpful to avoid that a bit. What are the odds on Riddick? Three to one. Three to one against him? Nah, this guy is different. Right now, I'm not sure I'd bet a single UD against Riddick. Really now? All right, I think we're safe here. I think I got really lucky on the first time. I was gonna show how it uh, often will uh, get you caught, but I didn't even uh, get caught, so I got the lucky end of the stick this time around. Remember, keep using E around here because jumping will alert them. So you've got two options here. You can go down there where the door is because that is green lit or you can go up here. This is green lit as well. I prefer going up here for a couple of reasons. One, because it's not behind a mech and a door that is the size of a mech. And uh, two, I'll show momentarily if I can manage it. So I'm gonna try and stay on top of this and hop down over here because there is something sitting right over here and this is the second reason that I like going up here is a pack of smokes Mr. President finest cigars moisten in to be for insertion <laughs> uh, I love the notes on these all right well, let's see if I can get around here without dying I'm going through that little tiny glitch fog there Alright, well, that uh, that went off without a hitch, which is very strange, because normally that does have uh, some serious hitches. Whatever. It worked out. It's all good. Anyway, next time we will continue on and see what's down at the end of this dark hallway. Bye for now, everyone.